What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Kyle and today, well, today is going to be kind of a little bit of a sad video, unfortunately. Uh, as you all should know by now, I have been doing uh, the bulk vending for a couple months now with a couple of gumball and vending machines and uh, something kind of unfortunate happened today and I'm gonna share that with you all in just a moment. Now, before I do share that with you all, I do need something from you. If you could just hit that like button down below, yep, that would be awesome. It would just, I would appreciate it so, so much. Yep, just hit that like button. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't already too. That, that helps out too. Anyway guys, let's get right into it. All right, now just one more quick thing I need to do before I share that with you is I'm gonna go make some espressos. Be right back. Alright, so as you can see here, I actually have a vending machine, little gumball machine here to my right. Um, but this is actually the one that I did a review on a little while ago, a couple videos ago I believe. But um, something a little bit different about this machine actually is, well, unfortunately this is the first machine to get kicked out of a location. I'm so sorry. but. It is what it is, and we're gonna move on. So, but basically what happened was, when I originally put the machine there, or went to ask to put the machine there, uh, I talked to the manager, you know, a lady, very nice lady, uh, and I asked her if I could put it there, and she said, um, yeah, go ahead, uh, you know, I don't think the owner will have a problem with it, go ahead and put it in, so I put it in there, and a week later, I collected it just because that was the cycle. I always collect the last Monday of each month. I stopped in, collected it. There was only a few bucks in there. I think there was only like 250 in there. And I gave 75 cents to people to use. So not a ton in there after just a week, which is, you know, it is what it is. But I was thinking, hey, a location's a location. Well, fast forward another week, I stopped into that little store to... Uh, pick up some stuff and well when I went in there the lady seemed a little bit upset and I looked and the machine wasn't where it was so I'm like okay well, you know, whatever I'll ask her when I check out so I went to go grab my things and I, I bring it to the checkout and I pay and I'm like hey you know where's my machine 
And she was like, oh, it's it's over there. He fussed with me. He doesn't want it. She was getting all teary eyed. I'm like, hey, it's, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I understand, you know, not a, not a big thing at all. I said, I'll go ahead and take it out. I don't want to cause any problems. I understand. So I took it out and here we are. Yep. But anyway, now I have to find a new place for this machine. But uh, hopefully you all can uh, learn from this. And, you know, this is something that is just inevitable in the vending business that you're going to have locations that are going to kick your machines out. Um, thankfully, this wasn't like a great location. I considered offering them, like, say, giving them a 10% commission uh, in exchange for letting me keep it there. But unfortunately, he, uh, it's, the, the location just didn't do quite well enough to uh to justify paying a commission to keep it there because it would only be about a five to seven bucks a month location anyway so really not too worried about it now uh this brings me to my next point in the fact that you know if there's a place that doesn't want your machine there, if you guys are just starting out in the business like I am, I honestly think that your best bet is to just go the path of least resistance, take the machine out. There's plenty of places to find locations to put your machines that are, you know, going to be glad to have them there, that want them there. I have plenty of, I have five other locations that are happy with the machines they have and, you know, either they don't really care at all about them or they're happy to have them. So don't stress about losing locations just keep on going you know now you just got to find one more location uh and to be honest once you kind of start doing this business a little bit you realize that uh finding locations for little gumball machines really not that hard uh just go in there with a smile and uh say hey can i put a machine here um, and a lot of the time, a good chunk of people will say yes. In my experience so far, in the uh, five or six locations, well, I guess five now, uh, probably over half the places I've been to have said yes. So I haven't really put a whole lot of time into finding locations. So, you know, just goes to show you, it's, it's the ups and downs of the business. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you have some better luck than I did today. Um, so get out there, don't get discouraged and, uh, make sure you hit that like button. All right. It really helps out a lot. Anyway, guys, I will catch you all in the next one.